Good evening, class. For my research proposal, I have chosen a flipped classroom approach to teaching cellular biology. Most of you are familiar with the flipped classroom, but what it entails is for instead of a student to come into a traditional didactic lecture with professor speaking to students, students writing down notes, instead in a flipped class, the student is asked to watch a pre-recorded video at home prior to class. When they arrive to class, instead of a traditional lecture, the classroom is focused on small group activities, active learning, and collaboration, and the professor just walks around and facilitates the learning and discussion rather than the traditional lecture. For my literature review, I chose to focus on most recent research from 2013 onwards. Because this is such a new field and with emerging technology, I wanted to stay relevant. And also, because it is a newer field of research, there is a large gap in experimental studies. The main paper that I focused on was the Lax et al. 2016 paper in which they experimented on a large general biology class using a partially flipped classroom. They um, had two different groups, the control group, which was the traditional lecture, and they had the flipped classroom in which they watched a pre-recorded video and then did the active learning techniques in class and what they did is just compare the assessments from each group and try and figure out if there was an increase in performance from the flipped classroom perspective. And they did find that there was an increase in performance. This paper has similarities to my proposed experiment. And I have chosen to use it as a template and just change the experiment somewhat to reach my goals. The research method that I'll be using is a quasi-experimental design. I will be doing this experiment at George Brown College, choosing pre-health science first semester biology students, mean age of around 20, there's two sections, an A and a B. Each section has about 20 to 30 students. And section A is the control group in which there's no flipped class, just the traditional lecture. And section B is the experimental group with the flipped class. The experiment will be only for one lecture. This is not a semester long project, just one lecture and the lecture is on cell biology. Now the experimental group, the flip class, will be watching a YouTube video on cell biology recorded by the professor, in this case me, and in the next lecture instead of the traditional biology lecture they would do group work with whiteboards and they would draw the cell draw the organelles, and then discuss amongst each other what the purpose of each organelle is. The professor will walk around and facilitate the discussion. And then after the both groups have completed their lectures, both the flipped and the non-flipped, they will do a Kahoot online 10 question assessment. And then a couple weeks after that, they'll have a test in which 10 questions will be directly related to what they had learned previously. Then I will analyze those results and see what the mean scores for the two assessments are. I can then create an unpaired t-test to compare the assessment performance across the groups and see if it is a significant difference, if at all the flipped classroom does lead to better student performance. 
I think that this research has great future implications with the movement towards more student-centered active learning, the increasing usage of universal design for learning, and the increasing movement towards distance and online learning. This also allows improved accessibility. So maybe a student was not able to make it to class because they're, they had to take care of their child or they were sick. Um, and because of that too, you could watch that lecture over and over again as many times as you want. Whereas in the traditional lecture format, you only have the one day where the professor provides that lecture. More experiments are needed on larger sample sizes, preferably introductory courses with greater than 500 students. The recent literature reviewed in this article reveals the momentum building towards the flipped classroom pedagogy. Due to massive technological advancements, the flipped classroom is becoming much easier to implement into curriculum. The active learning that occurs in the flipped classroom allows for the perfect environment for students to build 21st century 4C skills, collaboration, communication, creativity, and critical thinking. Active learning strategies such as the flipped method that focus on shifting of acquisition of fact-based information outside of the classroom are greatly beneficial because they allow the class to spend more time engaging with the material. This approach to curriculum delivery shows promise in keeping up with rapidly changing technology and student needs while staying relevant in the new educational paradigm. Thank you for your attention this evening. Once you are finished here, please head back to the classroom and give me a green check mark so that we can start our Q&A session.